The same old hello and today is a bit different video. I will be showing how I connected these PlayStation Move controllers to work simultaneously with my Oculus Rift, damn it, DK2 to play Steam VR games with them. I hope I didn't break this one. It's new. With the controllers you get these cameras which you need for Steam VR to track the glowing orb to know where it is in 3D space. I have two set up in each corner of my room so that I get the biggest coverage out of them. And when you connect it to your PC, it should light up in order to notify you that it works. In order for SteamVR to recognize the controllers, I use something called the PlayStation Move service. When I open the configuration tool, you have something, tracker settings, which you can use for testing the video from the thingies high to see if they're working. They're working both, and controller settings. I don't have any controllers connected, so let me get one. You can do this by pressing the PlayStation button on the controller and it will start blinking. When you press the button with Bluetooth enabled, it should recognize it as seen there. So when I test Rumble now, you can see this controller is properly connected. You can do this for both controllers, which is recommended to do VR stuff. In the controller settings, we have settings for calibration. When I click Calibrate Magnetometer, we get this bunch of weird stuff. When I just shake my controller all about, you can see that it changes a whole bunch of things on the screen, which is something like the rotation in relation to the earth magnetic field kind of stuff. I don't know how it works exactly. The longer you shake the controller, the more dots will appear on the screen and the more precise your tracking will be. And there you have it. You can see that it is now properly calibrated to the movements. Not really actually because actually my screen is kind of magnetic so I shouldn't put it right here because it influences the orientation. You've got a whole bunch of other different settings like calibrate, gyroscope, orientation, stuff like that. I'm not going to do that. The other thing I'm going to show is the tracker settings. You can calibrate the tracking colors which means you see the back of my head over there and the orb starts glowing. I can change the color and when I set the video filter mode to mask you can see that the color is tracking properly and then save default profile and apply it. Do the same thing for the next tracker. The final thing for it to be able to know where you are in 3D space in relation to your HMD and your room, you need to compute tracker poses, which means both cameras can see the origin point of where you're trying to calibrate and you have to place it on some fixed points which are provided by the PlayStation Move server. It tracks it for point 0.1 now, I can move it to point 0.2 and go tracking it for both cameras. Three. When I pick it up now, you can see when I move it forward, it moves it in the view of the tracker test thingy as well. It is all working properly. As you can see now, Steam VR loaded up. The controller got recognized, but it is kind of offset. And you see this hold the PlayStation Move thingy directly in front of your face. I can see my positional tracker right in front of me, which is where it is in real life as well. And I know that my two cameras are in the corner. So when I press these, they should align the thingy can move to where it is in real life when I move my controller. It should move where it is in real life. I didn't do the calibration properly, so it's just like jumping all over the place now as you can see. But it works. I can do stuff in Steam VR with my Oculus DK2, which is extremely nice. Uh, I'm sorry if this is some sort of a bit of a different video than I normally do. I hope you somewhat find it entertaining or useful in some regards anyway. So if you liked it, just hit that like button till it breaks and punch subscribe until it checks. I will see you all next time. This video is over. YOLO flying.